what are the most priority material topics for your business and for your industry? And then you can tell your story based on those topics. Joining me today is Lane Yost, head of ESG advisory with Edelman Smithfield. Lane, what are some of the major challenges that your clients come to you looking to solve in the ESG space? I think a lot of what we're seeing, Matt, with ESG becoming a little bit more mainstream is particularly organizations that have maybe very mature ESG reporting. So specifically, they might have been reporting in the public markets on their ESG data, but don't necessarily have a sophisticated approach to integrating ESG factors across their business. So we're really helping them integrate ESG uh, from a functional integration standpoint. How do you partner with clients to tell their ESG story and enhance their overall ESG strategy? We really want to work with them closely on their prioritization. So in the ESG world, we have this very annoying term called materiality, which of course materiality, as you well know, has very specific legal and financial definitions. Of course, for us, it has to have its own definition, which really is just prioritization. And so from a storytelling and communication standpoint, it really starts there. What are the most priority material topics for your business and for your industry? And then you can tell your story based on those topics. What's one misconception in the ESG space that you wish clients or those outside of the industry better understood? That you have to be all things to all audiences, to all stakeholders. I think, you know, we see a lot of pressure from investors, from customers, from, from consumers, uh, from the media. Um, and a lot of the C-suite and the board folks which are, who are more up to speed on ESG as a pressure are less familiar with ESG as an opportunity and how that needs to be uniquely defined for their organization and to take the discipline to uniquely define it for their organization, for their industry, and their geography. Finally, for someone who wants to build their standing as an ESG thought leader, what are one or two essentials that they need to do to make that happen? I think it's really important to think about ESG as a discipline. Um, and so it, when you think about being a thought leader, you need to think about using ESG to differentiate your brand as a human being, but also as the, as the business and how those two are connected. And then to really work internally with your functional experts to tell that story with specificity.